one of the main pieces of technology that we are going to use to run this class is called handing. Handing is how you will hand in all your work in this class. These include lecture quizzes, lab exercises, as well as problem sets. Handing is installed as a plugin to Dr. Racket. So in order to set up handing, you first need to install Dr. Racket. So go to the Dr. Racket website, hit download, and download whatever version is appropriate for the computer you're using. Unless you're using a university lab computer, in which case this should already be done for you. Once you have downloaded Dr. Racket, start Dr. Racket. Again, in this class, we're using Dr. Racket, but not Racket. So make sure you're starting Dr. Racket, not Racket. Now we're in Dr. Racket, and you can see that the string is divided into two parts with various buttons in the upper right corner. Um, there's a menu bar with lots of commands. So this is the Dr. Racket that we'll be using. And you'll notice that there's no sign of any handed. So let's install handing as a plugin. We're going to go under the file menu and choose install.plt file. And then you'll be ready to enter the web address for the plugin. This is going to download the plugin. When you see the message installation complete, installation is complete for the handing plugin. And then you can click the close button. And now you need to restart Dr. Racket. When you restart Dr. Racket, you'll see there's a new button in the upper right corner. It's labeled C211 handing, and that's your sign that you have successfully installed the handing. Now the first thing you need to do to use Handing is to create your account. So go to File again, and this time there's a new command under the File menu. It's called Manage C211 Handing Account. So choose that. With any luck, you'll get this dialog box where new user is already selected. And now is your time to enter your information. Now for the username, we want you to use the same username as you have for the university. So this is my university username. I'm going to type in my uh, university username as my handing username as well. And then I get to enter my full name. This is convenient for labeling my homework assignments. I can enter my email address. This should be your university email address and then your password. And you can choose any password here. So do not choose the same password as you have for the IU logging, but you can and you should choose the same username as you have for IU logging. Okay, so I'm gonna choose my password. Choose a longer password than I have here. And then choose add user. So now you can see that at the top it says success and you are ready to hand in your homework. So let's say that you are listening to the first lecture and you're in the middle of the lecture and already there are things for you to do. So you're practicing uh, uh, putting things in the interactions window, which is the bottom half of Dr. Racket. You're practicing maybe putting things in the top half of Dr. Racket, which is the definitions window. Um, but remember that when you submit your work through Handin, only the definitions window, only the top half is submitted. So make sure whatever you want us to see, put it in the top half, the definitions window, when we grade your work. So let's say that this is your current um, work. So you know, you just type something into the definitions window, the top half of Dr. Racket, and we encourage you to submit your work as early and as often as possible. This makes sure that if you don't get time to finish your work, you still get partial credit, and you might also get feedback that's useful from handing. So let's try to 
use the handing button now. You need to enter your password and then you have a selection for where to submit to. This is important because in this class there will be lots of things that are sort of due at the same time that you could submit to. So you need to make sure that you're submitting to the right destination. So if this is for lecture one, you need to make sure to choose lecture one here in order for your submission to get filed in the right place and you get the right feedback and grades for whatever you're doing. So this is for lecture one, let's say, and I'm going to choose hand in. It says handing in at the top. And after a while, it says handing successful. You should always look for the message handing successful. If you don't see the message handing successful, then you have not actually handed in anything. So you should worry about that. And again, make sure you're submitting to the right destination. Here it's submitting to lecture one. Okay, so now I'm going to close this dialog box and I could keep working on the lecture. You know, I could add more material, I could change existing material, uh, I could do a lot of different things, and I could hand in again as often as I like until the due date for the assignment. And really we're only going to grade and give you feedback manually on the last submission you make before the due date. So I could submit again to lecture one, and that's just going to add more material or change what I, I submit. As long as I see the message handing successful at the top, my handing is successful. If I don't see the handing successful message at the top, then I should worry about my handing being not successful and I should get help, for example, by uh, posting to Campus Wire. As you keep working in the semester, you will make more and more complex submissions to handing and for more complex assignments like problem sets, handing will give you a little bit of automatic feedback on what you're doing and what you might be doing better before any human teaching staff gets to see your work. So for example, let's say that you submit this piece of work, not to lecture one, but to a different destination, like problem set one, PS one. Now when I say handing, it looks like it's just handing an in, but it says handing failed and it even gives you some error. So it says there's an error in my code and that means your submission has not been accepted and you have not actually handed anything in as far as the human teaching staff is concerned, as far as grading is concerned, as far as the rest of the process is concerned. Okay, so read this message carefully. For example, here it says, expected a function call, but there is no open parenthesis before this function. That's actually quite an informative error message. Okay, you might need to right click or long click this uh, message if you want to copy the message and put it somewhere else for your reference. In any case, you can hit OK to get rid of it. So far, we have not actually handed it anything to PS1 because it says handing failed. It does not say handing successful. But we could fix the problem. We can, for example, put parentheses around this expression. And then let's try handing in the same work again. Entering our password and submitting to PS1. This time it says handing successful, so we're done. Now sometimes handing gives you warning messages which give you suggestions for maybe some work that you haven't done in the assignment that you should do, or maybe uh, names that you are uh, not using correctly. But as long as you get the message handing successful, and only if you get the message handing successful, have you actually handed in anything, and you will get partial credit for what you do, but not if it says handing failed, only if it says handing successful. So be sure to watch for this message, handing successful at the top whenever you want to hand anything. Now, one final thing. Um, suppose that you want to retrieve what you last handed in. Maybe you want to check that you handed in the right thing to the right destination. Maybe you are working on a different computer and you want to get back to what you were working on before. You could use handing to do that. It's automatic if you want to just retrieve the last thing you handed in to each destination. For example, suppose that I am in a new computer. So pretend that I'm on a new computer. 
you can use Hendon as long as you carefully make sure the retrieve box is checked. So retrieve means, well, you're going to download to your computer from the Hendon server what you last submitted. So for example, if you want to see what you last submitted to lecture one, you can choose lecture one and make sure the retrieve box is checked and click the button that now says C211 retrieve. And that means that you're going to get back what you last submitted and you could continue to work on it. So that's the basics of handing. Uh, starting with the very first lecture, you'll be required to hand in your work through the handing server.